Hello, welcome to the Keyence iX training module. Today we'll discuss how to switch programs on the iX from a Rockwell PLC. We'll do this using a Compaq Logix PLC and the Studio 5000 software, but the principles will apply to any PLC capable of explicit or messaging Ethernet IP communication. If you have not yet set up your iX and DLEP1 communication module, please view the dedicated video for initial Ethernet IP setup. First, let's make sure our settings are correct in the iX Navigator software. I have some basic programs set up for us to use here today in program slots 0, 1, 3, 27, and 31. We'll only use a few of these in this video, but this is to demonstrate the ability to switch between all 32 programs available on the iX over Ethernet IP. The only setting we need to check here can be found under Advanced Sensor Settings. Make sure your program switch method is set to Panel PC COM DL and not external input. This will allow us to switch programs from the PLC. Once that's set, we can click OK and then put the sensor back in run mode. Now we'll head to Logix Designer. First, we'll want to head to our controller tags, where we'll see our tags we created for the iX during our initial setup. Again, if you have not watched the iX Ethernet IP setup video, please view that first. Now the first thing we want to do is go to Edit Tags and create three new tags. The first one will name Message and give it a data type of message. The second will name Dummy Request and make it a Boolean data type. This will be our request bit. Finally, we'll create a tag named Program Value and give this a data type of DINT. These are the three tags we'll need to switch programs. Now we can head over to our main routine and start creating our ladder logic for switching programs. First, we'll add a normally open contact to our logic by dragging this bit down to our rung. Next, we'll double-click the question mark and define this bit as our dummy request. Then we'll select input slash output so we can drag and drop a message element to the right of our dummy request. Double-clicking the question mark next to message control, we'll then select the message tag we created earlier. From here, we'll click the three dots to pull up our message configuration window. We'll want to create a CIP generic message with a custom service type. Now we'll enter our parameters for changing programs. These values can be found in the DLEP1 users manual IXH edition, available for download from the Keyence website. We'll set service code to 10, class to 67, instance to 1, and attribute to 3A3. For source element, we'll select the program value tag we created from the drop-down menu. Set source length to 4 as we are using a DINT data type. Finally, we'll set our destination element to DLIX output data 0. That contains our bit for sending a program change request. We'll be writing the value at the program value bit to that request. The last thing we'll want to set up in this window is under the communication tab. Make sure your path is set to the Ethernet module you created for the DLEP one. Now that we configured our message, we'll press OK. Now that we're ready to send our program switch message, I'll download the logic we've created to the PLC. This process takes a few seconds, but once it's set up and both our PLC and iX are in run mode, we can pull up iX Navigator to watch our program change. First, we'll go to controller tags and change our program value. Right now, my iX is running program 3. Let's say I want to switch to program 31. We'll enter 31 for the value of the program value tag and then head back to our main routine. Now I'll select our dummy request, press Ctrl T to toggle it on, and you can see our iX has switched to program 31. If we go back to our program value tag and change the value to 29, and then head back to our routine and toggle our request again, we'll see the iX change to program 29. We're now successfully changing programs using Ethernet IP message communication. Thank you for watching.